Today we're gonna try to code three things to CV2, but ChatGPT must guide us through everything. We can't do anything but what GPT tells us to do. Three things we're gonna try to code are a button that adds one to an integer variable, a button that sets a text to say subscribe, and a button that sets my position to the center of the room. Now let's set some ground rules. If it doesn't know what CV2 is or attempts to make up chips, I have to attempt to teach it what those chips are. Alternatively, I can tell them what chips to use so it can tell me how to put them together. If none of those work, I am allowed to add my own chips to fill in the hopeless blank. That's all the rules with that out of the way. Let's start off with the hopefully easiest one, a button that adds one to the integer variable. For some reason, it started thinking that I was talking about Unity because it started th saying things like on-click event handlers and all that. And it also thought that I could add Unity items into Rec Room from the Maker Pen tab. That would work if I was using Rec Room Studio, but I'm not. So we're, we're just gonna take that though because it is telling me to use things that are in the game. Just letting you know, I am following exactly how chat gpt wants me to do it but of course i've changed it to work in rec room because like i said earlier it's talking about unity or something so event handlers and all that stuff aren't really in the game As you can see, I'm looking at my computer screen and I'm just like visibly confused on what it's trying to tell me, but luckily I do get it at the end. And as you can see, it works. Good job, ChatGPT. Now let's move on to the second option, which is making a text say subscribe. Now here, as I was changing the value, I realized it actually wanted me to use a text set text chip instead of directly changing the text from the text gadget. That's another point to GPT. But finally, let's move on to what I personally think is the hardest one for GPT, setting the player's position to the center of the room, which is zero, zero, zero.
go. Uh, now you know that ChatGPT can sort of help you code CV2. I'm excited to get it mixed up with Unity. Uh, I know these were kind of easy, but I just wanted to test if ChatGPT even knew what CV2 was. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Peace, boosters.